So before I send this bad boy back, the Galaxy Fold, here are my thoughts after 10 days to see what the future lies for Samsung's first foldable device. So there's a lot of been said about the Galaxy Fold. We know that Samsung has made a recall of all the review units, including this one in my hand. So by the time you're watching this video, it's already been sent back and we'll talk a lot about that. But I wanna first focus on my use over the last 10 days. And what I will do is I will continue the usage once I get it back, because Samsung said they will be sending out review units again roughly, hopefully around June, it's not official, but we do know that ship dates have changed around June 13th for a lot of people. Uh, but I will continue my thoughts on the device. So how has it been like using this device for 10 days? It's been fun. I have to say using the Galaxy uh, Fold has been a fun experience. I think there's a lot here to this technology because I like where the thinking is. There are some things I don't like on the device, uh, but I like the thinking and I like the use case. I've enjoyed using the Galaxy Fold. It's been a very good experience. I mean, using it as a, uh, a smartphone or a tablet on a daily basis has been really, really good. So what have I done with the Galaxy Fold, right? Uh, first is just, I've used it as my daily driver for the last 10 days. And I have to say the first thing off the bat is the battery life is truly incredible a 4,380 milliamp battery, which by all accounts, especially with Samsung, you're not thinking it's gonna last you as long, but it does a really good job. Now my buddy, the unlocker did a full day in the life, testing out the battery, and you can check out his video. I'll have the link for you guys down below, uh, just to show you how well it manages battery with this thing. Absolutely solid, I love it. Now, with that in mind, it allows you to do so much more. So using the Fold and taking it out with me on the road is something that I found truly unique. First of all, everyone's staring at you and looking at you, whether you're just walking with this device that kind of looks like an old school cell phone just because of the thickness and also the small screen in the front. But when you pop it open, everyone's eyes just kind of goes like, ooh, but what is that? People asking you questions and they're really intrigued. And that's the that's one of the best things I like about the Fold, um, is the thought potential, what people see in it, and what you can actually do. So what have I been doing? First of all, a lot of gaming. I have spent more time gaming, and I was honestly say my PUBG skills have not improved that much, but you guys can see, and I'll have another gaming video showing you just a bunch of games on the system, uh, which I pre-recorded so you guys can check out. Gaming on this thing is great because you've got such a large real, est real estate. Now the aspect ratio is four by, four by two by three because of that weird notch inside. Please Samsung, make that punch hole in the future. Um, or I mean, I know you can't do it for this device, but please make it a punch hole because it's just so much better. I've done more gaming than I've done with any device in 10 days since I've received it. The S10, uh, the Huawei P30 Pro, the Mate 20, the Note 9, uh, the Pixel, you name it. I've done more gaming on this device just because it's got a larger real estate with a larger display. It's uh, 7.3 inches and it really shows. And this play is really good, whether it's in sunlight or, or um, you know, you're using it indoors, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's a solid display. Now, of course, there've been a lot of complaints about the display itself, as in people have, you know, taken off the protective layer, which I haven't done and I haven't had any issues. But the bigger thing is, uh, we found out from I, I Fix It is that it's probably very easy to get, get dust into, uh, in, underneath the display through that hinge area, which, um, Samsung has said they're looking to, of course, fix some of that issues there with their press statement. So we'll see how that turns out. But for me, it's been a fun experience. Now, going up to that uh, front display, which is small, it's tiny, um, and it's got a really weird adverse effect. Uh, I don't like the display size. I think it's too small, not because of the height. Some people say it's this, it's actually the width for me is the biggest thing. It's not as wide. I've got really large fingers and hands, so it feels really cramped typing on this display in the front. I can still do it, but it just feels cramped. That being said though, it, it's, it's, it's provided a very unique and different approach to using this device. One, I spend less time with the front display. I don't fiddle with my phone as much. I've spent less time on this device in general than I have with 
with my regular smartphone because if I'm going to be opening up the Fold, I am going to be watching content, I am going to be uh, watching YouTube videos, playing games, or sending out emails. And I love just typing on the full display, opening it up and start typing on this thing. It's truly amazing, a very fun experience, especially the split keyboard here. So that really works out well. And again, you know, the folding mechanism is solid. Um, you can hear it snap. You've probably seen Lou's video where he folded it a thousand times, no issues. Same thing with me, I've probably done over a thousand right now. Uh, even just showing off to people uh, and it's worked out pretty well. The camera is also really solid. The same cameras you find in the Galaxy S10. Uh, there are six cameras in total. We've got three in the back. Uh, you've got two inside and you've got one in the front. So wherever you are, you can always take a selfie and you also take a, a photo. Uh, you'll find yourself opening the device and taking photos this way, just because the viewfinder is so much larger, not as large as a tablet, but it's something small enough where you can do this and still look at what you're doing, uh, as opposed to using the front display as a viewfinder where it's kind of small, you can see it there. So it doesn't give you the full breadth of what you're looking at. So now in terms of audio and speakers, oh my God, the speakers are loud. It's Dolby Atmos built in. So when you're watching content or you're listening or you're playing games or you're watching a video, you really get that very immersed sound. I wish it actually had quad speakers. Yes, it's got dual speakers, stereo speakers, but I wish quad speakers because when you open it up, I wanted to take advantage of that whole layout so it really covers the whole sphere for you but I will have a speaker video for you I haven't done that in a while and I'm going to test that out with the Galaxy S10 the iPhone the LG G thank you uh, the P30 Pro so we'll see how who has the loudest speaker and also the best you can judge that for yourself but speakers for me sounded really good on the system as I mentioned the battery life is great you've got a fingerprint sensor that's super fast doubles as your Bixby button now I've noticed a couple of quirks here is that when you tap, initially when we got the device, uh, the fingerprint sensor didn't immediately unlock the device. You had to kind of tap the screen as well. You can change that in the settings in there. And also there's a little quirk about just the volume toggle for uh, mute, which you can also change in the settings. Something that just came preset a different way. Again, this is not final units as we know, so that definitely can change. Now, it doesn't have a headphone jack which for me is a big bummer, but I've been using the Galaxy Buds quite a bit. And I'd say the Galaxy Buds are probably one of the best well-priced um, in-ear buds that have some really good sound with Dolby Atmos, the seal's really good, and the Fold will come with a pair of Galaxy Buds, so at least they're giving you that. I do wish it was a different color other than white. It get, then again, I don't know, that's not final packaging, but it did, did come with some white buds in there, and hopefully the fact that you have that adds a little more to it. Plus you do have reverse, wireless charging built into this bad boy. There are some things I really like to see on the Fold, uh, whether it's you know the Fold 2 or future devices or even just some support for it. I know it's not built into this yet, but I showed this to a friend. She saw it, she, she's an artist and you know I gave her the Fold, she opened it up and she said, where's the S Pen? She's a Galaxy Note user, by the way. Um, for her, that was the first thing and it reminded me of the Microsoft Corea. That was a, a great idea. Microsoft never made this device, but it was something that was leaked and we all went like, oh my God, this would be great. And that's what the Fold represents. You know, having that notepad where you can hold it this way and use your pen and you don't have any separation there, it doesn't feel awkward or doesn't feel hard for you to use. I think that's where a lot of people would like to see a device like this. I think for me, my experience though has been really good. Like I said, I've had no issues with my display. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, and we do know that, yes, there've been some issues. Uh, a few other people have mentioned um, the, the, the whole talk about uh, particles getting underneath the display. That's something that Samsung needs to address. But I'm happy it happened to us. You know, I'm happy it happened to reviewers and not to you, the customer, not you buying it. Because um, at the end of the day, we see this in the tech community a lot. There are a lot of companies uh, from Samsung, Apple, who make a lot of mistakes and sometimes they just don't uh, address it. And they address it in menial ways where you have to take devices back and things like that. So yes, you know, I, I didn't like the outpour initially, uh, at least the way it was said, because it felt like it was I was in high school. Uh, watching you know fellow techies just squibble about this but I did like the fact that it brought attention to something that Samsung had to fix and I think that's something uh, that can be said that at least is the is a positive out of this some people may say oh no it's going to flop it's this and that no uh, if you pre-order the fold I say stay check it out 
uh, you know what you're getting. You know you're gonna get the smaller screen. You already know that. But you know this, this screen here looks really good. Look at Wolverine there. I wanna thank El Jefe for this wallpaper, man. I appreciate it. Even though I'm using it on my S10 Plus, this also kinda of looks pretty cool uh, on the Galaxy Fold. I'll share that for you, but big shout out to El Jefe. Uh, check out his channel. I'll link, give, leave a link for his channel down below. There's so much to this device that I can I can keep talking about. Um, the fact that it's just such a eye pleaser. Plus, you've got, I forgot to mention, they actually magnets here that allow you to close this and open this up. Um, so it keeps it closed and keeps it so you can actually open it. It gives you that nice little lock here. The Galaxy Fold, I think, is a nice start. For me, this is the kind of future I wanna see. I wanna see more foldable devices. We are hearing rumors that Samsung has another foldable that opens up in two ways to, op to make a tablet. That's great. I, I don't want to log a tablet. I want to have a device that I can expand. If you ever watch Westworld, you see they've got some really crazy phones that opened into tablets that I was like, yes, I can't wait to see that. And I think Samsung has offered the beginning here. Now we're gonna see devices from Huawei. Huawei has a device that opens up in a different way. So basically your top screen and it opens up this way to have another screen like that. You've seen the Mate X uh, and that's going to be a very interesting device. And I think a lot of people will look at that and go, wow, that's also very interesting. And I want to check that out. But a device like the Fold is the one that started the way and it's had some missteps, but I like what they've done. And I think this is a path forward and I wanna see if they can fix the, the issues they have. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and just giving you a sense of how I've used the Galaxy Fold in the last 10 days. And I know the device has gone back, but once I get it back, I'll do my full review. I also check out what the changes are. We can compare with at least with this video and other videos that we've done. Check out all our Galaxy Fold videos. We have a playlist for you. You can check that out. Gaming video, audio, all that kind of fun stuff in there. And if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.